education and certification. In this video, we will be learning how best to showcase both our formal and informal education for an online portfolio. Your education is probably the most straightforward section in any resume or portfolio, but it's good to know how to prioritize the way you list your formal and informal education and certifications in order to achieve the most effective summary for potential employers. Your information needs to be presented clearly and concisely so it's easy to digest. This is the section of your portfolio where you are able to quantify some of the technical skills that you listed previously. There's plenty of freedom on how you choose to list your education. The main thing is to keep it short, relevant, and consistent throughout the whole portfolio. In terms of formal education, you should include any degrees or diplomas you hold in reverse chronological order, meaning begin from the most recent and go backwards from there. Include any higher education that hasn't been or won't be completed. If you have achieved a higher level of education than high school, there's no need to include it with the rest of your education as it will be assumed. List the name of your degree or diploma. Feel free to add your major and minor, but this is optional. The name of the educational institution and the year you graduated or years you attended. This is the minimum requirement that most employers will look for. That being said, there is additional information you can include if you think it is significant. You can decide to list the location of your program, honors you achieved, a brief description of your program, relevant courses, or if you're listing graduate level education, you can include the title of your thesis or dissertation as well. Of course, as we mentioned, many of these entries are optional. Listing all of them like ingredients for a recipe might make the portfolio look a bit cluttered. It's going to be up to you to decide which ones are relevant for the job you're applying to. Beneath your education section is where you would list any relevant certifications you hold or informal education you've received. For example, if you have a license to operate any specialized machinery, a project management certification, or a security guard license, this is where you would list it. Try to format these certifications in the same way you did for your formal education. List the name of the certification, the company or institution where you received the education, and the year it was granted along with any other optional information you find relevant, though it's probably pertinent to keep your informal education even more to the point than your formal education. In the next video, we will create an experience section of our portfolio and learn how to effectively describe your work.